Do you ever want to just close your eyes and hope that the world's problems can just be solved by some genius inventor? Well, the Ocean Cleanup Project is one idea that comes under that category. Here's what you need to know. The Ocean Cleanup Project's largest system returned to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch last week, hoping to gather some of the 1.6 million square kilometers or 617,000 square miles of plastic that has accumulated there, according to New Atlas. Ocean Cleanup System 002 consists of a 600-meter or 2,000-foot U-shaped barrier that floats on the surface of the ocean, with a skirt hanging off it down below, both dragged forward by two ships. The idea behind it is that plastic from the ocean gets caught up in both the barrier and the skirt, while fish and other marine life are free to swim below them, according to the Ocean Cleanup's website. The plastic that accumulates funnels down into a waste retention zone at the back of the system, where it can eventually be emptied by a support vessel. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, located between Hawaii and California, is the largest of five ocean garbage patches, according to the Ocean Cleanup's website, posing risks to the safety and health of marine animals, as well as carrying significant health and economic implications for humans. The Ocean Cleanup Project says that ultimately, in combination with decreasing the amount of plastic put into the ocean, it aims to remove 90% of floating ocean plastic by 2040. However, as the name suggests, System 002 is not the first iteration of this project, and two previous systems have run into problems. System 001 was a free-floating structure powered by the ocean's currents, waves, and wind, which was designed to travel faster than the plastic waste it looked to catch, enabling it to be collected as the structure moved through the water. But that design struggled to retain the plastics it captured because it moved too slowly, according to Dezeen, and the ocean cleanup eventually reported that it had fractured, prompting the creation of an alternative design. That second design incorporated giant inflatable buoys and a parachute, both of which were designed to help control the speeds the system traveled at. Scientists at the Ocean Cleanup Project had noted problems with the system traveling both fast and too slowly at different points, and these modifications came in response to additional testing. The new system contains a more radical shift in direction in that it is no longer free-floating, rather dragged by two ships propelling it in the opposite direction to the ocean's currents. One benefit of having it towed by these crewed vessels is that the system can be steered towards areas of high waste concentration, according to New Atlas. However, widespread doubts about the project's viability in the face of so many design failures still persist. Speaking to Deep Sea News regarding the original design issues, Miriam Goldstein, director of Ocean Policy at the Center for American Progress, said, I certainly hope they will be able to get it to work, but this is a very difficult environment where equipment breaks, which is why you normally do things closer to shore where things are easier to repair. Dr. Goldstein may well approve more of the group's work in rivers. Nonprofit environmental organization The Ocean Cleanup is now tackling the problem of plastic pollution in oceans by collecting plastic waste directly from rivers before it gets to the oceans with its new system, the Interceptor. According to a news release from the organization, the Interceptor is powered by solar energy and uses lithium ion batteries, which enables it to operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The interceptor is anchored to the riverbed and uses a floating barrier that guides plastic waste from the river into the system's conveyor belt. Once plastic waste is on board, it is automatically put into one of six dumpsters on a barge inside the system. The system alerts local operators once all six dumpsters on board are full. Local operators then send over a vessel to pick up the plastic waste. The barge is taken back to shore with plastic waste and emptied for recycling. The barge is then reattached to the interceptor to collect more plastic debris. Ocean Cleanup states in a news release that the system is capable of extracting 50,000 kilograms of trash a day. The organization claims that under optimal conditions, that number could increase to 100,000 kilograms of waste per day. Ocean Cleanup has built four interceptors to date. Two of its systems are already operating, one in Indonesia and one in Malaysia. The organization plans to roll out a third system in Vietnam and a fourth system in the Dominican Republic. Ocean Cleanup has ambitious plans of tackling 1,000 of the world's most polluting rivers, which the organization says are responsible for 80% of plastic waste present in oceans before the end of 2025. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family.
Thanks for watching.